Hey everybody, it's Casual Boops coming at you with another video, and today we're going to be covering the T-77, the t one of the many Tier 8 American uh, heavy tank, premium uh, premium heavy tanks. Uh, before we get into that, uh, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to the uh, World of Tanks folks that are going to be doing a 34-hour uh, a charity stream for the, uh, and this is, you can find this on the, on the World of Tanks homepage, but it's a charity stream for the USO, which um, is the United Service organizations I'm not I'm not terribly familiar with all the intricacies of this organization but I'm led to believe that it's a good organization and there's a charity stream and so on and so forth uh, with um, a silent auction and so on and anyways you can get all kinds of cool stuff including like the uh, the WZ 111 quillion tier 10 thing maybe for silent auctions and stuff that uh, was on black market before if you missed it anyways that's my plug go check this out the link will be in the description of the video you should go look at this uh, anyway so we're gonna be looking at the t77 um, and I figured you know I've had this replay sitting around for a while and it's on sale now so I figured there might be some of you out there thinking about whether you should buy this thing or not and um, it's you know it's not new it's been around for a little while almost exactly a year uh, I was introduced last year in the Waffentrager boxes and I, I hate that they did that where they said here's a new tank you can only get it by gambling uh, but once again, they they released it six months later in uh, in in the shop regularly, and I, I bought it then because I, I wanted it. And um, anyway, so I've I've had a chance to play around with it a little bit, and I I you know I will say I like it. I want to like it, uh, but it is um, balanced. There are things about it that are very good. It can have good games, but it's there are some things about it that are crippling. <laughs> so like, anyways, I'll get into the details here. So basically. Uh, what is the tank? It's it it almost plays more like a 50B, like an AMX 50B, the French tanks, uh, the auto loaders and stuff, and not necessarily like a T57 or a T54E1. I guess it kind of plays like a T54E1, but like it, the T57 is kind of slow, but it has really really good burst damage, you know, in a clip. It can just like dump 1600 damage in a clip. And then it can reload in like 30, 35 seconds or whatever and do it again. Or, or not, not very long. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's crazy. The, D, the T-57 is all about the gun, right? And so because of that, it doesn't really have any great armor. Well, the T-77 looks a lot like a T-57, but it, it, the firepower is not quite there. You still get the burst damage, but it definitely like, and, the, and you get more mobility, but you don't get the armor and the, and the clip reload is very long. And so I find that it plays a lot more like a, like a medium-ish, kind of like a 50B, sort of. Uh, and that's probably the why I struggle with the tank a little bit, because I'm not very good in 50B. But anyways, uh, so that's just it. If you're going to try to take this thing and go f pound somebody's face in, you, you know, in the front lines, that's not really what this tank is for, and you're going to have a bad time. Uh, but basically, it's got 360 alpha and really kind of, like I said, kind of bad DPM. Uh, pen penetration is pretty good, 232 standard rounds, uh, which means you don't need to spam premium a lot to make it work. But if you do... Uh, 300, almost 300 pen on the premium round, which is, uh, which is very good for tier eight. Um, you know, and it's got a, it's got a three round mag and four seconds in between the rounds. So you get, uh, you get to go pop, pop, pop. And that's almost, that's just over a thousand damage, which is, you know, that's, that's not as good as we've, or that's, it's okay. We've seen some really broken stuff recently, but uh, this is not that, but this is still really good. Like a thousand clip potential has got to be respected. Right, and so for this reason, it, it can be very powerful. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, it's two seconds in between the clip rounds. Uh, the, the, so it's pop, pop, pop. Um, but I will say, a, a lot like the 50, or a lot like the T57, it aims uh, slower than it shoots, right? And then once you've shot your three shots, you're down for like 38 seconds. And because it's an auto loader, you can't mount like a rammer. Like it's really hard to make this thing uh, get to a spot where it's like you can't really do a whole lot about this 38 seconds. And that's the reason that I think it mainly separates it from playing like a T57 is once you've shot your your clip, you really need to just like go sit tight and have a cigarette or something for like 40 seconds before you can go shoot again. And it also makes it really, really hurt when you miss one of the rounds. Like if you hit two of the three, you just did, you know, 700 damage, for, and then you get to sit and wait for 38 seconds to go do it again. Like, it feels bad. So, <clears throat> it's, uh, yeah, I, I like the tank, but there's definitely some downsides. And uh, I will say that it, it's it's fairly mobile, and that's what I mean. It, it plays a lot like the 50B, in my opinion, where it, it's it's fairly mobile, and that's what I mean, where like it plays a lot like a 50B, and the T57 is rather slow, and this is kind of not, right? So, top speed of 48, and it actually kind of gets there 
on a fairly regular basis. Eight degrees of gun depression is, is okay. But again, it doesn't really have any armor and the gun is very derpy. Uh, that's the one thing that I find very kind of, uh, you, you really, really, everything about the equipment, and I'll go into that later, is all about making the gun behave because the gun is not very well behaved. Anyways, but yeah, it's a 120 caliber gun, uh, 36 rounds. You don't really get that much ammo in this thing. Uh, so you can't really afford to be blind shooting and again your clip reload is so long that you really can't afford to be blind shooting Anyways, because you don't want to be sitting there Reloading your clip for 40 seconds after having shot three rounds into a bush for no reason. So yeah, that's it's um It's a weird tank, you know, it's got the same t57 crew layout uh, For however long that lasts that matters, you know until crew 2.0 comes out and fixes this whole mess uh, 370 view range is just okay, uh, but yeah, it's basically gonna play like your almost like a support medium tank where you can punish somebody with a thousand damage, assuming you get lucky with all your shots, and that's what it does. So, all right, so that's the tank stats. Uh, armor wise, um, it doesn't really have any. Like you can definitely, you will occasionally bounce things off of the weirdly shaped kind of hull that this thing has, the kind of boat-shaped American hull. And the turret is like trollish with its weird little angly bits, but like it doesn't really have reliable armor. And you know, if you hit it square in the face or on the cheeks, the cheeks of these you see what it's just like a T57. You hit it in the cheeks, it's going to it's going to go in all day. So that's really, you know, that's not that's all there really is to say about the armor. It's it's not very good, but that's okay. It's it in that way it plays a lot like a T57 or a 50B where you aren't really meant to be shooting and getting shot back like you're meant to be getting shot maybe once and then you punish them with the fact that you have three round clip so that's the armor it's not really there um this is how i would set the thing up since you know now we have field mods and stuff i would probably use you know obviously the altering suspension is better all the time uh because reasons uh i would probably use the um aiming circle size reducing reducing the aiming circles uh the Sorry, uh, <clears throat> the the reduction in aiming speed is key. That's what I'm getting at here. You need it to aim in quicker because 2.7 or whatever, 2.59 aiming time with not very good dispersion means that this thing, it just, it blooms out very easily and then it doesn't aim in very quickly. So this is what I would go with. Uh, and I'm also always going to take more view range because why not? And uh, I picked a firepower slot, but I, yeah, this is debatable. You know, honestly, if you wanted to play this thing more like a, even more like a medium tank, I could see somebody taking a mobility slot and a turbo or something. And then, you know, then you really are just ignore the fact that it says heavy tank and you're just playing with medium tanks and so on and so forth. Like that, that actually might be an interesting way to play this tank that I haven't really thought about before this very second. Um, maybe I have to give that a shot. Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll play it better that way, but uh, this is what I've been doing, and um, you know, it's a firepower slot, and and I've been I've had the uh, improved aiming in the firepower slot to get this dispersion down to 0.34, and you know, I run I run you know I have a pretty good crew and run food in mine, so I get to 0.32, but like this is the big thing. It's really hard to do much about these uh, the moving dispersion and tank traverse dispersion, and so that makes the gun bloom out as much as it, it does, and so that's why I've got. V-stabs, of course, are mandatory for this tank, and then an, uh, an IRM to help it feel more mobile, but then also to uh, to just quiet the gun, gun down as much as you possibly can. Um, I could you could make a case for maybe swapping it out for vents. Uh, you know, this is this this part's a little bit debatable, I, the, but the point is the the point is my experience with this so far has been the gun needs help, right? It needs you need to make every single shot in the mag hit, otherwise you're a sad panda. Um, and so whatever it takes, whether it's events or aiming or whatever, that's the most important thing. Uh, or alternatively, the other way to make that happen is to use a mobility slot and get in somebody's face so you're so close that you can't miss. That's another strategy of making the gun behave, right? And maybe I'll actually give that a shot. So anyways, that is, uh, those are the stats and the equipment and so on. And let's get into the game. All right, so in this particular game, we're going to be watching me play around in the uh, T-77, and I've had this replay saved for uh, some time, but uh, I've just figured I'd haul it out for some uh, some occasion, and this occasion is it. And uh, yeah, we're playing on Fish Bay, and it's uh, I believe it's an all-tier 8 game, two RDE, uh, three RDE each side. Um, no, that's not right. There's an A-44, that's a tier 7. A SU-100Y, that's a tier 6. Yeah, so sorry. It's a tier 8, and also there's tier 6 tier 6s in this match. Um, yeah, and you can see, look at, like, the speed of this thing, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, for a heavy tank, it feels fairly quick for a tier 8, you know, um, 
it's not like a speed demon or something like that but i suppose if you had a mobility slot and a turbo and i believe this actually this video was made before or this game happened before field mods uh existed so keep that in mind uh things will be be different once you can throw field mods on there and you know improve slots and so on and so forth because uh, this yeah this happened a year ago so i think yes equipment 2.0 was a thing but field mods and alternative layouts or alter alternative equipment loadouts were not a thing at this moment so you know you could you could potentially argue for you know um a loadout that had like optics and and you know maybe optics and uh a turbo for a wide open map or something like that and then something where it, it, when it's a brawling map maybe you um i don't know you, you know it like I, I hadn't really thought about the different various different options for how you might equip this thing because i i haven't i'll be honest i haven't necessarily come to the oh well, god she hits us in two seconds right two seconds between the shots the shots and pop pop but you notice how how uh, like the first round i kind of had to wait and hope that the uh that the cromwell first round would hit right because the gun does not necessarily behave all that well right <laughs> And so now we're sitting and waiting because, you know, 38 second reload. And, um, but that's what I wanted to, you know, specifically point out is that, is that you really need to wait and just hope that the gun behaves. Um, and, and that can be very frustrating because, you know, you really, with it, with a lot of clip tanks, it's, in, you're incentivized to just like, here it is, I'm going to run in there and now is the time to go, 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 go. And you dump your clip. But like, you really have to make sure that like all of the shots hit right and so that can be a pain because if you're like oh like here you go wait wait for it wait wait for it okay now we shoot right but like i so i rushed the second shot and it didn't go in right and so that's a perfect example of it's very easy to just throw shots down range and i just shot t i hit two of my three rounds and now i'm going to go be sad and reload for 38 seconds because i didn't hit all three shots in that charioteer or whatever that was challenger is still alive um there's a rare case of the armor working on the t77 like it, it does exist it's just not reliable right you would never you would never just dare somebody to shoot you in your t77 but uh it's it's fairly mobile it's like a slower medium tank or a faster heavy tank with its mobility but um but the final accuracy if you are sit willing to sit still and let the gun aim in it can do the things especially when you're like when you're willing to tap two we haven't shot any heat rounds yet because you know it's a, there's tier sixes here and i haven't really felt the need and 232 standard pen does get work done uh but you know if you are willing to tap two 300 heat pen d gets work done right like you you don't need to necessarily hit every single weak spot as long as you're not getting trolled by tracks so that's uh that's definitely something to keep in mind um but again you don't this is one of those the part of the reason i like this tank is you don't need to tap two to make the gun work uh so, anyways, we are in full-on reverse push mode because the enemy team has definitely won the town, and they're pushing out of the town, and we're not loaded. So we'll use these bushes and see if we can't... Wait for it, wait for it. So you definitely, like like I said, you feel like in between your clips, you definitely want to be relocating substantially because you have a lot of time to sit and think about life, and that's kind of like, that's very 50B-ish. Wait for it. Okay, yeah, so the first one whiffed, but the second one hit, because I could sit there and let it aim in. And that's pretty characteristic of the tank and the gun. Um, but yeah, it feels very 50B, where after I've dumped my clip, I need to just run away. You know, whereas a, a T-57, for example, is uh, the clip potential, or the, the clip reload speed, the drum reload speed, is so short that I would probably just stay put. In fact, I might even be get closer, so that when I, my clip was up, my shells could uh, be more effective, because I'd be that much, it'd be that much easier to shoot. Uh, easier to hit people because I'm closer, right? But this, I know that after my shots are done, I'm going to be sitting a sitting duck. So I want to get the heck out of there so that I can create some space and buy myself time to reload again after my shots are done. So that's that's like I don't know why. I think maybe like if they were to like I'm not saying they should do this, but if they were to re uh, like reduce the clip uh, clip the drum reload speed by like 10 seconds, this thing would play completely differently, right? You wouldn't want to be far away, you'd want to be close by. Because that would mean that you could, uh, you know, you could use your DPM to just make it rain. A lot like a T-57 does. 
So at this point, I think there's a you know the t there's a T34 two back there, but he's not spotted. So I'm rearranging my hull so that I can be, I can press W and get out of there. Um, but I also and I'm using these bushes and stuff, so I'm not going to be spotted probably. But uh, I'm just going to wait because our SU-12244 has um, apparently won that 1v1. But we're waiting because I know this T-34 oh, is. I know the T-34 is in that bush somewhere, but I don't know where, and I don't have the rounds to be blind firing because uh, I don't want to sit like. I don't want to be clipped out and reloading when somebody does spot him. So we just wait and be patient, and there's an E25 that... Oh god. We're definitely losing this game. Like, this is definitely not looking good. It's 8 to 13. Uh, as far as I think it's... Yeah, 8 to 13 uh, kills. So, like, we have two, and this is why I have them. This is why I have the mods. Because, uh, you know, I don't care how many kills there are. There are only two of us. Two tanks left on our team. 13 kills. So... You know, but this way, this is this is the nice thing about this tank is I have a clip potential where as long as I don't whip these shots, I could just take the C25 out of the game, and that's okay. There's an SU100Y in the middle somewhere, and we know that. But like, you know, the, look at the okay. So that one got that one felt pretty lucky. I felt pretty lucky with that shot, uh, but you could see like as you're moving around, the gun is very very like. It's it the bloom is a lot. It doesn't you aren't meant to be shooting on the move. You are meant to be setting up shots and preparing in advance and so on and so forth. Um, now luckily our Hellcat was paying attention and able was able to uh, to get a shot in, but I'm just powerless. I've just get to sit here and wait because I can't do anything uh, until my clip my clip is reloaded. And we're waiting, we're waiting, waiting. Okay. Look at how long it takes that gun to load in. To rip. Okay, and so then we know we we hit. Oh, uh, so I know I hit him twice because it reset the cap twice. Uh, I don't know if the second one did damage, but I know it at least hit his tracks or something like that. So now we're down for 38 more seconds. But again, it's basically there's an SC100Y, there's three artillery, and then there's this T34-3. So as long as we can stay, you know, unspotted, play some camo games, we can definitely like pull this out because it's just you know the SC100Y is a is a tier six. And so that's, you know, that's clippable. That's no big deal. That's, we're a big bad tier 8. Um, so it's interesting. This is an interesting little conundrum. But I'm also trying to get some of these artillery out of the game so we can take some of the RNG out of this. Where the next time I get spotted, it doesn't just rain on me. And you're starting to see some of the mobility here. Like, we're doing 47, 48, 46. Like, it's, it's okay. Like, this is not, like, what I'm doing right now, you could never do in a T-34. You know, the, the other probably the oldest American heavy tank premium because it's just that that tank really is slow and I think that they have they might have made it a little bit faster recently but it's certainly not a speed demon this one is very fast by comparison and so you can do these kinds of things where you get up and flex around the map a little bit and you know um, it's not great I, I would have preferred that Hellcat stayed back there but um, you know I, I don't know I you can't really control your teammates in pub, pub matches but uh, Anyways, we're, we're trying to count some artillery, and honestly, this might have been one of those situations where, you know, maybe if I did have a turbo on a mobility slot, uh, then, yeah, then maybe I could have done these things and, and gotten around, scooted around the map a little bit easier, because we are doing a lot of driving. But, uh, yeah, I mean, luck oh, so we're lit. That's bad. I'm going to try to take cover. I think it, I'm being lit from the middle, so I'm going to take cover behind this rock and... Uh, that is an arty. I didn't expect that. Didn't expect the arty to be there. We're waiting, 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 because we need to hit these shots. Perfect. And the other shit, the arty, our other arty hit from about the A7, A8 area of the map. And we're just going to wait to be unspotted. And, okay. Luckily, the uh, the Hellcat gets a, gets a reset on the base, so that I know that I have time to reset, uh, to, to re, um, re-clip my gun. Right, it takes 38 seconds, and if I didn't have time, if he didn't get that shot, then I would have had to have had that one shot in the mag to get the base reset. But since I know that there has been a base reset, I can... Oh, okay, I don't really have time. I don't want to be spotted by this artillery, and I don't have, I can't shoot him anyways. I really need to take care of this cap, so I'm trying to go up this way so I'm not accidentally spotted by that artillery, because I know that the camo on this thing is not great. It is a heavy tank. And here is the T-34-3. He's running a screen, right? So this is... I don't know why this guy, if you get in close, oh god, the armor can work, you know, this is perfect. So like, 
that guy, because I was in his face, he must have aimed, I don't know, you know, didn't have a chance to aim at a weak spot. And this is a perfect example of, you know, I'm not going to say that this is the best way. Obviously, that I, most, most of that was me just getting lucky. However, the reason that worked is because I got in that guy's face and he, and he kind of freaked out and didn't aim his shot properly because I didn't give him space. So that's one thing you can really do is um, just try to uh, try to get in somebody's face and jam up their gun so that they can't get a good shot. And sometimes you get lucky, you know? Uh, and I will luckily get enough to... I'll get enough time to reload. But, oh, and there he is. There he is. Just enough few range to see the things. You really have to have this shot count. Perfect. Okay, so now it's now it's hunting Artie, right? We got seven kills, 4,200 game, 4,200 damage. I've reclipped the gun uh, because I'm not expecting Artie to do anything anytime soon here. So we'll just sit and wait. Um, and I just need to make sure, you know, I am a one shot, right? These already do hit fairly hard. I think it's an M44 and the AMX 13 F3. We only have three minutes left in the game, uh, and those both of those tanks moves pretty quick. Whoop! There, there, there it is. I don't know. I don't know what, uh, okay, the other already shot from the other side of the map, so you know he's reloading. And this guy can definitely see me, but I'm outside of proxy range. So I'm going to back up and become unspotted. And I'm going to try to use this bush to do the thing. Oh! Hmm. Wow. And so that's uh, the heartbreak of how this game ends, unfortunately. Uh, you know, I had to pick one side or the other side, and to be honest, I think in retrospect, what I probably should have done was not pick either side. Probably should have waited for uh, waited to become unspotted. I had all kinds of time. I should have disengaged. I should have backed up away from that uh, building, created some space, gone maybe around to another building somewhere else, or around to the other side of the like around uh, other like the other hillside little undulation, and made it so that he couldn't predict where I was. And then you know it's going to take him a lot longer to aim in the shot than it would for me. So I would have. Probably could have won that engagement if I had just backed away from the building. Uh, but I messed it up, and congratulations to the Artie for, for cleaning up the game and, and finishing it off. Alright, so at the end of the game, we ended up taking home 4,600 damage, 7 kills, uh, just over 500 blocked somehow. Uh, and that was, uh, let's see, a, I guess we got a Defender, we got an Ace Tanker, we got a High Caliber, we got a Tank Sniper, and a Top Gun, all kinds of medals. Uh, and that ended up getting us 901 base XP because we got these battle hero medals even on a loss We got the XP as if we had been it had been a win uh, So that was nice and then uh, at the end of the game because we didn't you know We did shoot some premium rounds, but a lot of ours were standard rounds and we most of those hit So we were able to take home a profit of a hundred and seven thousand credits um, I think we had a personal mission for three for thirty thousand and I also didn't pay for for food So if you didn't have that it would be down it would probably this game would have been fifty thousand credits ish uh, Which is still okay, you know um, not bad, but anyways that is uh, that's the game and that's the tank Hopefully this helps you decide whether this is something you want uh, Once again, I think the tank is is good uh, and can do good things But in, it's uh, and field mods probably helped it quite a bit but it's also not like brokenly overpowered. It's I think it's a balanced tank. I think you can have good games and you can have fun in it, and I enjoy mine. But if you're looking for the next T56, you know, Skoda T56, this is not that. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. All right.